I'm David Kroll here for Texas Bar TV, and I'm speaking with Patrick Krill. He's the director of Hazleton's Legal Professionals Program in Center City, Minnesota. And he's just given a presentation, uh, along with Bree Buchanan, on, uh, on addiction among attorneys and some of the solutions for that. So, Patrick, would you like to outline the problem for us? The problem, in a nutshell, is that attorneys are twice as addicted as the general population. So studies show that the, the rate of addiction, the rate of substance abuse in the general population is about 10%. So one out of 10 people has an active problem with chemicals. In the legal profession, it's more like 2 out of 10. So it's closer to 20%. So that's, that's the problem in a very global sense, but it, it goes beyond that. It, it's, a, it's a cultural sort of issue within the legal profession which explains that heightened prevalence. There's a resistance to acknowledging that there's a problem and, and dealing with it. Uh, I also suspect that lawyers are not alone in this, but they're among the type of people that would want to hide that sort of problem and, and cover it up, think it's not really affecting their work and, and their family life. That's exactly right. There's a huge stigma attached to alcoholism generally, right? So that's regardless of whether you're an attorney or whether you're whatever you might be doing. There's a big stigma. That stigma is really amplified in the legal profession uh, for a lot of reasons. One is that we, you know, we take an oath that we are going to uphold a certain um, sort of character, level of character and fitness, and that we're going to comport ourselves in a very specific way. And you know, you don't want to acknowledge that you might be living your life, you might be doing some things that are really sort of in direct contradiction of that oath. How, how, do we, how do we break this? How do we, uh, how do we start to change the, our very attitudes and the culture around it? Well, I think the threshold sort of fundamental issue that needs to be addressed is the, la is the lack of willingness to acknowledge that there is a problem, right? We have these numbers, some of which are dated, and I'll, I'll speak to that in, in a second, but we have these numbers that demonstrate that attorneys are twice as addicted, and we've had these numbers for a while, and yet there hasn't that we know of been any sort of meaningful reduction in this in the prevalence and part of the reason why is because we don't we as a profession don't want to look at it we're currently uh, starting a research project with the american bar association hazelden and betty ford foundation where i where i work we've just partnered with the aba to launch a new survey about current 2014-2015 addiction rates in the legal profession. So we'll be administering that survey hopefully in the next six months nationwide. We'll get a better, better handle on the issue and that I hope will make it a little bit harder to ignore. Uh, is there anything else we need to touch on? I don't think so. This has been a, a nice treat to speak with you. Well, we're really glad that Patrick could make it here to the State Bar Annual Meeting, and we're glad he's, uh, he's at the forefront of this project. Patrick, thank you for being with us. For Texas Bar TV, I'm David Kroll.